Hey guys, what's going on? Um, in case you're uh, wondering what the humming noise is, is my battery charger. So, um, uh, she sat for quite a while, so the battery ran down a little bit. Um, just I actually just got done mowing with her. I uh, used the uh, jumper pack to fire her over, and I uh, mean, she's after I got her going, you know, the battery charged up a little bit, but um, I just want to get the battery back up to par where it's supposed to be, so. Um, so yeah, she's all done. Um, the, uh, the wiring, I'm going to have to do the whole entire uh, wiring on this. So, uh, so for right now, it's got no lights, so, um, in order to do the, the wiring, I'm going to 10-1 have to pull that motor off. Which I really don't want to do, so, um, I'm just going to leave it as is, so, um, someday I feel a par, I'll do it, but, um, you're probably wondering what I got the tire off for, um, I'm taking, I took, uh, yeah, I got the tire off because I'm doing a, uh, front end alignment on this, right now it's got, when I tire it on there, it was cocked, so, um, and I undo the tie rod and spin it in a little bit, and, uh, or out a little bit, and hopefully it fixes my, uh, cockiness. But I figured I'd, uh, let you guys watch, I guess. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so. I did end up changing that tire on the passenger side. Um, that one sitting behind the camera right now. Um, probably end up having to buy a uh, new uh, switch for this. Um, switch on it right now is cocked. You're wondering what I mean about that. I'll show you here in a minute. Maybe. Dang washer off there. Yeah, there's the tie rod. Alright. And now you guys are wondering about the T switch. So, um, right now is off. Right? Well, I said on, but it's actually off. I can't take the key off, right? Well, if I turn it on, okay, see? On right now. I just took the key out. Put it back in. See? On, in the on position. And I'll turn it off. Can't get the key out. So. Yeah. If you're wondering, it's not the key that it's, it's bent or, or anything like that. It's the mechanism inside the uh, key switch. Here's that is how I took out or put onto it. And, uh, the other one is right there. So, I don't know. I'll get back to what I was doing. Let's 
Good right there. I can only get dressed as a side too. hard to tell. Uh, uh, I think it looks good to me. It's kind of hard to tell, so I uh, might try to adjust this one here. Yeah, we have tools here.
too sure if I'm going to get lucky with this one or not. It's going off easy. get this on here quicker with such a boring video. But yeah, I'm definitely going to paint that gilt in this color though. I like it. I like it a lot. I didn't think I'd like it this much. I do. Mm, there's something about it. I've always liked bright orange over dark orange.
Someone says, like, AC orange. I like that. That orange I painted it, it's not AC orange. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with that. It's better than what it was. I just was cocked out and it's a little cocked in, so. Red and hip cocked in and cocked out. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I drop it out. Just to make sure. I did, I did. So, with that being said, we will go for a test drive. Okay, here's um, ignition, take the key out if I want to, okay. good it runs is this yeah kind of hate to say it but kind of runs better than that it's right up there with this but uh i never had to use choke on this one though so she always fires right up she's always been my good old faithful Every time. Look at that. As soon as you turn the key, boom. Every time. Can't get no better than that. It's uh, they don't have the original carburetor on it. It's got a uh, Ellis Chalmers uh carburetor on it um my good friend 
Zippo fire grip. He built it for me. Um, so yeah, um, I mean it looks the same as the original ones, but the uh, the setup on it is different compared to the originals. So, but uh, yeah. I just I love this track. I could, I could never get rid of it. The only way I'd probably get rid of it is either I'm dead in a I'm buried six feet under, or uh, the motor ever goes into it. But yeah, I actually almost sold her once. Um, uh, quite a few months ago, probably about eight. Oh, well, actually. No, actually it was about a year ago actually, I almost ended up selling her, um, it was uh, I think $1,200 I wanted for it I think, I actually tried, I was going to sell her with the, the way she sat, um, had the uh, three point and mag blade on her at the time, and uh, I had a guy come all the way down from Mexico, which is, I think, five or six hours away. Or I think it's about five, five and a half, actually. And, uh, he wanted to know if I'd, uh, take 500 bucks for it. I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, 500 bucks, but I don't want to get you the tractor. I'm going to get you the plow, three-point hitch, or the freaking back blade. And, uh, he actually tried to buy, buy the Baby Blue 14 too, and I'm like, no, that, that's not going anywhere, you know, just for 500 bucks. Um, I'd sell that one for 800. That was, that had the deck on it at the time, and uh, he didn't want to do that, he wanted to pay 500 bucks. I was like, well, and uh, I guess he drove all the way down here for nothing, because, yeah. But anyways, um, you probably wondering, been wondering about this. Um, this is uh, like the newer ones. They got the little shoot on it for you know in case they hit rocks or something. It'll, it'll keep it away from the houses or whatever. So this is basically what this is. Um, I just had some tin laying around, and I got a bunch of rocks that are still hiding in this grass here that I haven't got. So, uh, put that on there just for safety precautions. Um, I want to make one for that one, but this one's going to be a little bit harder because it's got no holes into it like that one does. Um, one of the holes is down there and one on the other side, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. So. Uh, that's okay. But yeah, so this is the tire that I ended up painting last night. I had a spacer onto it, and then this uh, bearing here. Wow, <laughs> I just broke off. So oh, that tire, rim and tire are pretty much, well, the tire is pretty decent, but holding air anyway. Tread factor and the top there is pretty well shot. I can almost guarantee you, I know why that freaking tired ball, because that ball, or that tie rod being out on alignment like that. I mean there's barely any tread on that. I mean just barely. So but so um yeah I got a roadblock going on and everything else behind here. Of course the court seems to have sitting there. I got a Move them over there so I can put her up against the building a little bit tighter. It's a little hard to get out here, even though 
she really ain't sticking out that far, but there's a little bank right there. But uh, I moved her back there, and then she was in the way of the 10, so I had to push her up here and then uh, get 10 out. And then, of course, the, the big beast here is blocking this off. If it didn't have that plow mount on it, it'd, it'd still get by it, but it's got it on the front, and I really don't want to. Don't want to take that plow mount off, so because it's going to be a bitch to get out. So I got a boat back there. Take that rod off and whatever. So, but don't think bad. It's bad about this goddamn summer shit. Is it gets shit all over my hoods, all over that one. So, but eventually, um. Of the uh, moving stuff around here. Um, hopefully, clean this out here. Get that uh, fire pit out in the patio there. Um, move the bricks and stuff around. Then I want to move the deck, the snowblower up here, and then the other snowblower, put it up here. Um, move the bikes over a little bit more. That way I can uh, move the tires over where the snowblower is. That'll give me a little bit more room. That way uh, I can back this one up farther and I can get back past here and it won't be in the way. The only thing that's bad about the duel so, is they make it wider and yeah, it's difficult but I like it. I like duel so. So, yeah, that's a uh, a beast. That right, that girl right there with them duels, and got dual wheel weights in the middle. She'll pop a wheel even with the freaking pile in front of it. They'd probably do a massive one if it had pile in front of it. So I got what uh, the clutch real easy. Otherwise, it'll uh, dig that right down into the ground. I know I did it with the custom 10, the blue and white one. But, yeah, I guess. Um, I gotta take them uh, tires and stuff off, so. I better quit yakking and get a yield in here. wood and doing the fire firewood but, but. alrighty guys